Good morning, good morning. Or whatever time of day it is where you are. <laughs> okay. Around to the store this morning, so I'm a little bit behind. So, how are your wreaths looking? Is everything going well? We are gonna work right here today. Not quite sure why I missed that top one. Good morning. Okay. So let's get started. Um Okay, so for the winter we're going to use DMC 535. Oh, I told Cindy the wrong color yesterday. Sorry, Giselle. <laughs> I think I said we were going to do 503, but we're actually going to do 501. Um, so 501 for the Christmas, 535 for the winter. And we're going to do just the rest of these little leafy sprigs. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna use um, four strands again. You can use whatever you want. Um, if you did six yesterday with these ones, then you could stick with six again. Um, I'm going to do four because that's what feels right to me. So I'm just gonna Get those two and pull them apart. Untwist. Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can do these leaves depending on what you want them to look like. So you can do them more pointed or more rounded. Um, whatever feels right to you. Just getting a knot. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Let's get zoomed in here. Okay, hold on, I gotta move this closer to me, sorry. Okay. So the first one I'm gonna show you, we're gonna keep this one kind of rounded, like it is drawn. And then we'll do some different things with these other ones. Okay, so like usual. So we're gonna, because we're gonna, okay. So I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down even with the stem because these leaves end at the bottom. So then I can just go ahead and do the stem while I'm doing leaves. Like this one, our leaves ended at the top. I mean, I guess we could have done this and then done that, but anyways. If I do leaves like this, I start, I don't do my um, stem first. I do the stem with the leaves. Okay. So we're gonna go down 
make that first stitch. And then for a rounded leaf, if you do your first couple of stitches in a straight line, um, then um, it'll keep your leaf looking more rounded. So we're just gonna go right next to this one and keep that top kind of straight. And then we're gonna go into this same hole. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna go right next to it. And I'm gonna go in this same hole. I gotta pull this, hold on. It's a little loose. Okay, and then we're gonna start going down on the edges. So down and over a little. And then I'm gonna tuck this one under. So I'm gonna go in at an angle, kind of under that stitch next to it. So we can keep that rounded look. So same thing, down and over a little, and then tuck that under a little bit. Maybe too much. Okay. I'm just gonna do one more little stitch down and over, and then I'm not gonna tuck this one under. I'm just gonna put it like right next to the bottom. Well, that wasn't quite where I wanted it, that's okay. Same with this one, just to kind of make it a little bit fuller, okay? So there we've got one leaf. Um, so you can do these other two like that as well. I'm just gonna show you a couple other ideas. I'm not super worried about leaves all being the exact same. So um, I'm fine with this situation. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the top, go down to the stem. And then I'm just gonna start coming down the side of the leaf, so down and over a little bit. And then into the same hole. Darn, I'm getting a lot of knots today. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Okay. And in that same hole. So I'm doing the same thing, but just without like the rounded top. So you see how this one is a little bit more pointy. Still very cute. Just slightly different shaped. So I'm going to put this one kind of off to the side and up a little bit so we keep that nice V shape at the bottom. Oh my gosh, these knots are insane today. Okay, I think my thread is just twisted. Hold on. Okay, one more on this side. Okay, there's the second leaf. I'm moving you a lot today. Okay, so third one we're gonna do, I'm just gonna do a very small fishbone. So the fishbone is the one we did with the dark color, but we're just gonna do it with a tiny leaf. So I'm just gonna go halfway down and I'm gonna go over here. And go across it. I'm gonna do this one. Go across it. Like that. And then 
I'm just going to go ahead down here to the bottom and end it. So these leaves are real small. Okay. Giselle, I see you just popped on and I'm so sorry. I think I told you the wrong color yesterday. So for the green, it's supposed to be 501. I think I told you 503. <laughs> I don't remember now. But anyways, I'm sorry if I led you astray. Um, okay, so pick your leaf or do all three. I'm going to stick with this rounded one just because I think it's cute. Um, so I'm going to do some more of the rounded ones and then you can decide what you want to do. I got to fix my hoop. It is like loose in my hoop stand here. Come on. Yep, I packed 501 thinking that's what you meant. Good job. I'm sorry. I led you astray. I'm glad you could pick out my meaning without <laughs> me telling you what was truthful. Goodness. Okay. So once you have that, you can go ahead. So we ended right here. So we're going to come down here and do our stem. And then come over here and start our next leaf. All right. So I'm going to do these little ones right next to it at the top. I feel like this was one thing that tripped me up so much in the beginning was trying to get my leaves like rounded instead of pointed. I never realized how much it would help to have those couple of straight ones on the top and then bring it down the sides. So anyways, I hope that helps if you're struggling with like rounded, rounded edges with a, like a satin stitch type stitch. I think I just want one more over here. And it doesn't have to be the same amount of stitches on both sides. Like I'm not going to do another one on the right side here because I like the shape of that already. So don't feel like they have to be exactly the same on both sides. If it looks right, it looks right, and you don't need to worry about it. And if you've got some that are more pointy and some that are more rounded, sounds like nature. Because, let's be honest, nothing is exact out there. And I think you'll be surprised once you get everything on this wreath, like little things like the shape of these leaves, you won't even notice. Unless it really, really bugs you, then you might notice. But um, like once everything's on there, you just look at how pretty like the whole thing is and you don't look as much at the teeny tiny details. Miss the beginning, do you always go into the same hole? Um, not every single time. Usually the first two or three I do because I want to keep that bottom really narrow. But these ones on the sides, I tend to go like not in the same hole, but like slightly above it and kind of at an angle so that um, it doesn't get too full down, like too bulky down at the bottom. Does that make sense? Got another knot. You're welcome. So <laughs> I didn't draw these from the pattern. I just like drew them. And so sometimes I just, I use my 
pattern as like a guide, but not necessarily like the end all be all. So this one I will not be following too closely. Because I don't like it clear over there. So those three, out, I did all three in the same hole at the bottom. And then I'll start to move out a little bit. So I can create a little bit more of a shape. See, that one's a little bit more pointed, but that's okay. I'm just going to finish this, and then I'll set you free. What, Roman? We turned on Nikki Christmas today. Hey, leave that box alone, please. We have our tree up, but it's not decorated, and so our living room is just a mess. Hey! No. Leave that alone. But I had to eat. No, don't get in it. My boy that likes all the forts wants to get in the Christmas tree box. So if you liked doing the stem first, you could still do a stem first on this one, but I would go start at the bottom and work your way to the top instead of with this one, we started at the top and worked our way to the bottom. You can totally do that. Okay. Thread is not happy with me today. Oh, child. I don't know if you can hear him. He's over there giggling about being in that box. Well, honey. I need help. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, that's gonna be too pointed. I gotta go up a little bit. There we
there. I think that's good. And the stem. And that's done. So this winter one, get it out of the hoop stand. Okay, so we've got one, two, three for that one. And then the Christmas one has one, two, three, four, five, six. Holy cow. These snowflakes took up more space. So this one has more. But there we have it. I'm going to work on these. Hey, what? Yeah, so tomorrow we're going to do brown. Both of these are brown. So we've got, let's see, 801 for this one. I don't remember. I don't have my colors out for this one. But anyways, we're going to finish up with um, these little sprigs here. Um, so that will be tomorrow. And then we will be done for the week. And next week we will start our little extras. So I next week, um, some of these elements will take two days. What did I decide? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I was thinking it would take us 10 days. So one day for French knots. I think I decided one of these was going to take two days. Maybe the train or Santa. I don't remember. Anyways, I have it written down. But I will post a schedule so you know what to expect. And we will go from there. So thanks for joining in. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.